So, this is the latest and most recent Star Wars original that they're launching with Disney+, Plus, and a lot of people have asked me about my thoughts about it, and I do actually have quite a bit of thoughts about The Mandalorian, a John Favreau-created Star Wars show. And the main basis I'm trying to get across here is excited, but cautious. Let's begin. <laughs> What I've noticed after both watching The Last Jedi and Solo is that it's very, very easy to make a good Star Wars trailer. In fact, Star Wars trailers are probably one of the coolest parts about Star Wars. Just the hype of seeing those icons or seeing that imagery you recognize and having those cool shots and those really mysterious scenes of this bounty hunter that's out there hunting for bounty, obviously, and shooting at people with really hardcore laser guns and stuff like that. It's really, really easy to get pumped for a show or a movie from a Star Wars trailer. It almost feels like Star Wars as a whole was made to create good trailers. But that does not always guarantee that the story itself or the movie or the TV show is going to be good. Especially with Disney in charge of Lucasfilm recently. I don't know if you guys remember from my earlier videos, but I was not a big fan of The Last Jedi or Solo. I was annoyed with both of those films, and there's a lot of people online that agree with me there. Disney has had really good track record with making engagement trailers that get people pumped for Star Wars. However, they do kind of have a bad record now of stomping on original ideas and characters that we grew and came to love and just kind of turning them into something that we really didn't know them for. And that makes me not like Disney Star Wars so much. And knowing that this is still coming from the Kathleen Kennedy-led Lucasfilm, it makes me cautious because as cool as the trailer was for The Mandalorian, very, very interesting trailer and it very much hooked me in. I want to watch the show now. But having been disappointed several times in the past, I'm cautious to know that, okay, on an episode-to-episode -episode basis, how interesting can it really be, given we don't know the face of the Mandalorian currently. It's just kind of mysterious bounty hunter. Very similar, of course, to Boba Fett, who did speak, but I think the awesome thing about Boba Fett was that he was so mysterious. There was so much we didn't know about them, and that kind of made sense for his character, as he was not the protagonist, and he wasn't even the main antagonist. He was just another character in a bigger story. The concern I have for the Mandalorian is that they're being so mysterious and playing a lot of what made Boba Fett so popular was that they didn't shine so much light on him. His screen time was limited. They didn't give him that much information. But once you start giving Boba Fett more information, once you start giving him more of a backstory, that's when the mystery kind of just goes away. And once you start giving a face to the Mandalorian or give a voice to the Mandalorian, that's when the mystery of it all starts to dissolve away and the cool factor also starts to just kind of drift off because eventually Eventually, as cool as the imagery is for the Mandalorian, there has to be some type of character that we get to connect with. Unless this entire show, they're never going to take off their mask or they're never going to speak. Kind of depends on how the narrative goes for Jon Favreau, but either way, I could easily see this ending up being not what everyone was expecting, because eventually that mask is probably going to have to come off and there's going to have to be a character that we have to get to know. When you typically do an entire show, you have to dive into a lot of backstory and plot and goals and potential opportunities that the Mandalorian wants to pursue. Once we get into the details, that's where I think Disney may end up falling apart and the Mandalorian could end up being a huge disappointment. Of course, there's people out there that are huge Star Wars fans. I still consider myself a big Star Wars fan, even though I've not been happy with the more recent Disney films. It's very, very simple to just put Star Wars stuff on screen and get people excited. It worked. It worked for me. I'm excited to see what the show or what the characters play out with, and I hope that they're able to make it interesting, and I I think the best way that could possibly do that right now is if they don't try to tie up the Mandalorian with stuff we know from the Skywalker saga. That's what has caused so many of the issues with some of the more recent Disney Star Wars films to me because they go back on so many characters we already know and they change them or say, no, our new characters are better than the old characters you love. Or actually, this is where Han Solo got his name from and Solo actually started with this and he used to act like this. He used to be a real dork and they just kind of change what we know and love. So I think the best thing Mandalorian could do is keep itself separate. Star Wars should be a giant universe that has lots of different stories and lots of different characters that we can go off and pursue. But in the cinematic world, at least, Disney hasn't really explored that much territory. They've kept everything pretty close with the Skywalker trilogy, and now we're seeing with the rise of 
Skywalker trailer, I'll talk about that in a different video, that they're going back to Palpatine. And of course, Kylo Ren has to stay very much detached to Darth Vader. And Snoke is very much just kind of updated Palpatine. They're keeping everything very close to what we already know. And I think the Mandalorian could be a great opportunity to venture off into new stories, into new planets, into new territories that we haven't already seen before. I'm tired of the nostalgia fest of, oh, look, Mark Hamill's playing Luke Skywalker again. Or, hey, that actor from the prequels returned in this film. I'm getting tired of it, okay? I'm tired of the nostalgia factor. I'm tired of you putting things on screen and just hoping that I recognize it. Even though this does take place in the Star Wars universe and there's already a lot of that with, ooh, stormtrooper helmets and, ooh, that blaster sure looks familiar. Star Wars is in desperate need of creativity. It's in need of new stories, new directions that don't just exactly resemble what has already been done before. And I completely understand there's risks with that. I mean, the prequels, to a certain extent, were new directions, were new creative ways for Star Wars to go because the prequels were not soft reboots of the originals and a lot of people didn't like the prequels despite George Lucas creating them and him being the one who originally invented the Star Wars universe and I think George Lucas didn't really understand the success of Star Wars and the prequels are evident of that but John Favreau has done some good things he's done some not so good things though I really really enjoy Iron Man obviously and the things I don't really like that he's done are typically remakes and given the Mandalorian is isn't a remake, I think there's a pretty good chance that he can do something unique and different with this show so that it feels like Star Wars, but at the same time it feels fresh. And we can get attached to the new characters, it sounds like a really good cast from what I've seen so far, and we can fall in love with this show and hopefully they can keep it interesting on an episode to episode basis and not just put all of your faith in all of the best parts of the show in the finale and everything before the finale is just kind of walking around exploring desert planets. I'm very very 50-50 on this show based on the trailer. I could see it going really well, but at the same time, I could also see it being a complete flop and being a huge disappointment for a lot of people. But of course, there's major Star Wars fans out there that'll love it just because it's Star Wars and it's shot well, you know? It looks like a high-budget show. In fact, it looks like a movie based on the trailer. You probably wouldn't be able to tell that it's an episodic-based TV show, but it is. And it's definitely gonna get a lot of people to sign up for Disney+, Plus, which I guess I'm now interested in signing up of as well. But I kind of want to watch the show before the free trial runs out and if the show's good, maybe I'll keep paying for it. If not, just cancel it and just watch the show for free, which I guess you'll all be able to do as well. Let me know what you guys thought of the Mandalorian trailer, or what you think of the idea of the show. Is it interesting to you? Is it boring to you? Feel free to hit me up over on Twitter or join our Discord. We can talk more about it there. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have an excellent day. Take care.